Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Um, it will be about making platforms in in um, dungeon maps. Um, so first thing first, this is your inside store map. I have uh, update. I have updated this store map um, to sh to give you more uh, rooms more room templates so you will find the link in the description of the video take the inside store.dat file and just put it in your maps folder replacing the previous one okay and you now have these four maps, um, four rooms I mean. One, the first one is the standard room that we already used. This one is also a standard room but the floor is um, is deeper actually. And this is the kind of map um, where we can make platforms. We are gonna make some platforms and the hero will be able to go either on th over the platform or under the platform and these two other rooms are just um, the same rooms but with holes instead of a floor okay so let's make a new map for this chapter 11 platforms You can use any tileset of the inside, any inside tileset, for example this one, and the dungeon music, why not? So okay, I'm taking this room, this room template, and copy pasting in my new map. So let's then make a door. Um, so this one is actually a door for the um, higher, higher room. So um, you want to put these on the low layer and this on the intermediate layer because um, actually all three layers will be useful here the high layer is the, the ceiling the intermediate layer has the usual the usual walls that we like the one we used in other chapters and the low layer the low layer will only contain what's deeper so the door wants to be on the low layer okay and um, I'm not sure about this if it's this one or this one because in this style set they are identical but maybe they are different in other type sets like this one. So okay, it's this one, the correct one. And then you, we need that, as always, to avoid the hero to be seen when he walks under the door. Um, okay, and on the low layer. By the way, um, each type of uh, floor pattern exists in two variations. Uh, one is slightly darker than the other. So the dark version is for low layer floors and the the light version is for normal floor 
intermediate layer floor. And the same is true for the borders like this. Okay? So let's finish the door. We need. Oops. Some barriers like this. Copy, paste. Okay. A destination to the north. And that's it. We we will only play in this map for this chapter, so we don't really need an entrance and a door and we are not making a teleporter, a teletransporter. Okay, I can already try that. Don't forget to tell your game to start on this map. Chapter 11. Okay, good. So let's go, let's make a platform. Um, there are two kinds, two kinds of platforms. You can make a floating platform. Mm, this means a platform the he that the hero can, uh, where the hero is able to go under. Or a platform like this. Like this, okay. Maybe something like this. So um, this kind of platforms, the known what I call <laughs> a platform that is not a floating platform, is um, simpler than floating platforms from the engine point of view because the hero the hero cannot go under the platform. And to finish the angle, this reverse angle, you need that. And it's normal if the this style and this style um, don't finish exactly before the the corner, the angle. It's always like this in this this kind of tile sets. So actually for a platform like this, since the hero cannot move under the platform, we we will we don't really need this layer system. Okay, so the platform is on the intermediate layer and the rest is on the low layer. This is a low layer. So everything could work with only the intermediate layer or with only the low layer. So um, the hero will be able to jump from here to here. So you don't want him to jump. Oh, I forgot to show the grid. <laughs> to jump from here to here because he will land inside this wall. So to avoid that you can use these barriers like that. And then don't forget to make jumpers if you want the hero to jump. If you forget to make jumpers I will show you what happens problem is that there is nothing nothing to make to avoid to make the hero um, jump over the wall so he will directly fall into the hole into the wall 
and I am stuck. Okay. So let's make a jump on the intermediate layer. Jump to the to the south, and uh, the default jump distance right here, 40 pixels, is adapted to dungeons. So you can check if you want, but it it's a it is the exact jump distance that we win that we need. Left. Okay. Good. And let's also make some stairs near the jumper. Stairs are here. So these are only the tiles of stairs. So let's put some tiles. Um, these three ones are in the, the low layer. Okay, and these other three, other three ones are in the intermediate layer. In the old versions of the A Link to the Past res resource pack, um, there was only one tile for instead of these three ones, but it was not correct because we want this one to be these ones to be walls and this one to be traversable. So if you don't have the updated tile set, um, just get the, last v the latest version of A Link to the Past resource pack. The link is also in the description of the video. And, and just copy your tile set files, replacing the, the old tile sets. Okay, so if we, if we try that, we we have we will have a problem because the only thing we did was to make some tiles. There is nothing dynamic here. If you want the hero to, to ch actually change layer, just use the stairs entity. So in chapter number nine, I presented th um, the four subtypes of stairs that allow to change to actually uh, go from a map to another map but this time we are interested in the this late this last subtype it allows us to make some stairs but staying in the ma inside a single map um okay Good. So use, using this, you have the behavior of a link to the past. Um, okay. I think that's it for the um, this type of, pl of platform. Now let's make a second platform, but this time it will be a floating platform. Maybe like this, or like this, okay. So it is essentially the same story. Maybe something like this like this, oh, okay. And mm, this is actually almost enough. So right now the hero is on the intermediate layer 
and now he is on the low layer. So this is mm, this is what's nice ab about layers, because in the previous chapters um, uh, we presented represented the layer system, and we showed that how to use layers to make some tiles be displayed above the hero, like trees and other kind of styles. But actually, the hero himself can also change layers. And this is very useful. You can easily make this kind of platforms. And with the, the editor, don't forget to always check like this um what's under the the platform and if you do this oh there's a problem here the jumper is on the wrong layer yes So you really need to check all the time, like I just did, that, so, um, I mean, show only one layer, and imagine that the hero is somewhere on that layer, and check that everything is um, under control. <laughs> check that there, I there is no leak, that the hero cannot um, get out of the, of the this space. The only way to get out is to take the stairs, but the stairs entity is here to stop him. And on this part, we did nothing here, so it, it might be okay for you, but I don't really like that. I prefer, even if there is no wall, I prefer using a jumper. Um, but this time the distance will be 16. Down. Maybe we will have a problem in the corner here. Okay. Oops. Yes, it works. Um, the the engine is treating the the corner as an obstacle, as a wall, because there is no other, there is not really another good way to to solve this problem. Oh no, it's not really working. Yes, I I can actually traverse this. So you have to do something. And one thing you can do is use more barriers, barriers like this. And actually I wanted to make some stairs. So the problem is also solved. Thanks to the stairs. Um, okay. You have to tell your stairs entity to go to the direction left. It's the direction um, um, of walking upstairs. Of going upstairs. Is it okay like this? Maybe. Mm. Yes, I think so. Okay, so there is no leak. There is no leak here. No leak here, so... I think we're good.
So as I was saying, the hero can be on any layer, tiles can be on any layers, any layer, and this is true for all other types of entities. You can put the destination on any layer, and a chest, and an enemy, uh, etc. All entities have um, coordinates on the map and also a layer. Um, one thing I don't really like is the transition here between the platform and what's under the platform. I mean, graphically, the, pattern are, the patterns are exactly the same. So maybe it will be nicer if we choose another one. Oh, <laughs> bring to back. Okay. Or what you can do is um, maybe use where are they? These guys like this intermediate layer. Okay. Usually they are used only for holes, but um, why not? However, I need also that. Okay. And um, also don't forget that you can at any moment change the tile set because all inside tile sets are supposed to be compatible. So you can check with the the cave tile set. And it's very nice too. Wow. <laughs> it's 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 changes completely. Um no, not the music. Grey blue dungeon. Grey brown dungeon. The house, even the house, can have can have some platforms like this. It's completely different. The ice dungeon. This one is so nice. And the green temple. Love this one. <laughs> Don't you love this one? Oh, is there a wall here? What's going on? What did I do? Oh, okay. What is this, guys? What? Mm. Barrier Diag 2, okay. So... These, are, these tiles must exist in other tile sets. Um, okay, yes. So... I added some tiles and uh, I didn't realize. Of course, it's easy to go wrong with invisible tiles. They are missing in this tile set. I should add them someday. Okay. And there is a last thing that I wanted to tell you. Since the hero is able to go under the platform, he's also able to go under the stairs. Because remember... Um, he can he can go here and the problem is that he can touch the stairs entity so he can activate the stairs from the wrong side trust me yes <laughs> 
so to avoid that you need to just put some kind of wall um, of course on the low layer some kind of wall here to block the hero probably like this Okay, and now it's working. Great! Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, bye. Oh, no, 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 not bye. I just saw another problem. Um, this is not the correct... Uh, hmm. Okay, it's, it's a slight bug in the tail set of the eyes. Um, this pattern here is not the correct one. We should actually keep the exact same as... Uh, mm, no, I, why I, I am changing the music again? At this one. This one, actually. Okay, um, I will fix that someday. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.